I'm going to attempt to survive the next 100 days in Hardcore Slime Rancher. I packed it full of chaotic mods, and if I die, my game save is deleted. Can I defeat a world where everything is out to get me, I take twice as much damage, and the market is less stable than my mental health? You'll have to watch to find out. On day one, I start off by kidnapping a couple of the locals. I pay tribute to them with a chicken dinner, then go off to explore. I am not expecting what I walk out to find. Everything here wants to eat me. The friends of the pink slimes I kidnapped are trying to make me regret it, and I'm forced to round them all up and chuck them into the water. I do manage to keep the heart slime though. Food is my next step as I gather up everything I can find, getting bitten a few times in the process. Ow. I run back to the house because being bitten on the behind by a hungry slime isn't very pleasurable. At home, I gather up my first hostages and replace them with the new ones, the heart slime. I feed my new victim, I mean pets, and they produce a plort for me. This guy will be my first step in making big progress this game. These sell for a lot of gold at the start of the game, so we're definitely taking advantage of this. After selling them, I buy more health and a tank booster to carry more items. Feeling confident, I head back out to explore, but I think I bit off a bit more than I can chew. Oh my god. Holy shit. Ow. I almost died. I pick up a provider slime, grab the map, gather more food, and then head off to pop the pink gordo by feeding him until he explodes into a ton of clones. After he's gone, I'm able to pick up the first key of my series. I wanted to teach the tar a lesson, but I ended up having my butt kicked. So I head home with the spoils of the day. I put my new slimes into a corral, gave it higher walls, and a garden to eat to their heart's content. Not only will they like it, but my next goal is a slime that eats cuberries. I know that later down the line, I'll also be popping a gordo that eats heartbeats. So I plant a garden of that also. With that done, I head out again and go into the cave to use the slime key on the door there. This opens up the indigo quarry. One step closer to beating this game. I intend fully on exploring, but I get to the edge and look down in horror. There are angry slimes everywhere. Jumping down there is most likely certain death. Correction, it is certain death. I slipped off the edge, and my gameplay is already over. And now we start again. Starting over on day one, I grab the handicaps and head out. This time, we're skipping over the beginner guys and going straight for heart slimes. Unfortunately, they aren't spawning much. So I get one and gather food while being bitten time and time again. What's new? I gathered enough food and popped our pink friend again. Got the first key and picked up the Q-berry early. I head back and add my heart slime to his enclosure. I plan ahead because we need the Q-berry. So I plant one of those with my heart slime and then I plant two behind him. I go back out to explore and get chased back home by a royal slime who is rude and bites me more than a couple of times, chasing me out of his territory. Excuse me, sir. I give up exploring for the moment since the king said no, and at home I add some high walls to my second enclosure and make it dark to hold some slimes that will respawn during the day without it. I try once more to explore, and again, I am chased out of the territory. These slimes must be creating some kind of mafia, and I'm on their shit list. I do get lucky literally by seeing a lucky slime. I feed her a chicken and she drops me nothing. I find out the hard way my mod is not working and huff my way back home, gathering heart slimes on the way. I add these guys to my slime cage and I feed them. The cube berries I planted are ready for harvest, so I do just that. I gathered 40 of them very easily. I head out to the next big guy and feed him cubes until he bursts. I gather up all of the little guys who pop out of him knowing that these guys will come in handy later. Armed with the knowledge that these guys fly, I put an air net on the enclosure. That keeps them inside. They are happy to be fed and I gather up the plorts they leave. I have several upgrades to buy and all of my little pets are providing me more than enough poop money to do just that. Now I'm equipped with a water tank and more health. I can also fly because of the jetpack upgrade. I had a very exciting day and my eyes are feeling very heavy, so I turn in for the night. Tomorrow's goals are big ones, so we need a good night's rest. On day three, with all of the accumulated poop gold, I purchased the first expansion to my farm, the grotto. Not only will this serve as a teleporter from the next slime, but it opens up more areas for me to build slime corrals. The next slime that I'm popping is a rock guy, and to prepare, I build up another outdoor corral, and I give it a garden. I accidentally click twice and unlock something called a plort protector. This comes in handy later, but for now, I have absolutely no idea what it does. And I stare at it, confused, for several minutes. Balls to the wall. Why make one mistake when you can make two? I purchased the upgrade for said unknown object I added to the corral. We'll find out more about these later, and what it does. I upgraded the walls, gave it a sprinkler, and then to finish off my entire disaster, I plant a single carrot. Just before I head out, I check for upgrades and get the dash boots. Then, we go back to where we died before. If you were me, what would you do in this scenario? A. 
be careful and don't jump down into death again. Or B, YOLO and jump down. Let me know in the comments. What would you do? Well, it's a good thing you're not me. And clearly, I have a freaking death wish. How am I going to do this challenge when I do shit like this? Those carrots better be really freaking important. Thankfully, I didn't die this time. Yet, I gained access to the next area. I got a boom slime, I fed the big rock slime, and I opened up that portal I told you about. First though, the map. Then I gather up all the rock slimes as I snack on my arm. Out of a few of the boxes they drop, I got an oka oka and an odd onion. The oka oka is the exact vegetable I need for the next slime. This works out perfect. I head home through the portal and add the boom slimes and the rock slime to the pen, then plant the oka across from them. Another garden holds the odd onion, and I finish off day three by doing a lot of plurt farming. On day four, I gather up a lot of crops, then I sleep for the rest of the day to supercharge their growth. On day five, I gather even more oka oka and upgrade all of the things I can before heading out again. I spot a lucky slime, and I tried to give it a rooster and a chicken, which it's happy to take both from me, but it disappears and I'm still left without a lucky plot again. My mod is definitely broken. On my exploration, I find a weird red box and I open it up, breaking it, discovering something called an altar orb. No idea what this does. I head off to the next area, crossing a very scary bridge. One wrong move and it's game over, and I'm known for falling off ledges. I get across, however, and unlock the next area. I know what's in this area though, so I decide to head home and come back later. At home, I discover a little trespasser and swiftly remind him of his high school swim team. I run into a slime called a jack of slime which is now my favorite slime. I run back home to put him away. I unlock a new area called the overgrowth. While gathering chickens in the new overgrowth area, I noticed a bald head looking thing up on top of the cliff. Much to my surprise, a gray blob sits up there. Again, no idea what it does. I try to stuff an altar orb in his mouth, but he spits it back out at me and I'm left even more confused than I was before. This mod is weird. And to top it all off, the mod developer removed their mod from the workshop. So I can't even go and find out what any of this is. I am completely in the dark here. You get to find out with me what all this is. We go back to the farm and I unlock the second to the last upgrade, the lab. Anyone familiar with Slime Rancher will know exactly why I unlocked this. Upgrades, somatic farming, and bees. Yes, bees, drones to be specific. These little guys farm for you and that's one of the goals is to set up a semi-automatic farm for the series. I feed my jack a buddy a chicken and then admire it balancing a plort on its head for a moment. I test the altar orb on him and he doesn't want it either. I round up all the chickens and put them into the cage with my jack a buddy since he loves to eat them. I head to the lab because I unlock something called a food pump and I'm really curious what that does. I look it up and realize it may be a little bit before I can unlock it, but I add it to my goals list. I retire for the night and head into day six. On the morning of day six, I wake up after a late night, kind of sleepy, but that's just too bad. There's work to be done. I crawl my happy little ass out of bed and I gather up Oka Oka. I sell plorts, I move my boom slime, I move the phosphor slimes to a new home. I gather all the berries out of the meat pen because my new slimes don't want to eat fruit. Today, we will conquer the next slime. But first, I get super distracted by this yellow slime. It's called a public test slime. It eats veggies. I dump him into my veggie pen with my rocks, and he seems pretty happy. Now it's time to leave the nest and find the next big dude to pop. Except, never mind, I get distracted again. And grab an air slime. Don't worry, we'll get there soon. My ADHD is controlling this playthrough, not me. I'm sure you can all relate. Let's try this again. We head back for a third time. Nope, never mind. Let's just watch me completely lose track of time and stand there staring out into the abyss only to return to reality to gather fruit. Hey, kitty, kitty, you're playing a game, remember? Hello, guys, she's gone. Let me do you a favor and, oh, there we go. We're headed out again for the fourth time. Come on, you can do it. <clears throat> no, no, don't go into the portal. No, where are you going? Am I narrating for a goose? Let me fast forward this to save you guys the trouble of going through what I went through while editing this playthrough for the next two hours while I run in circles. Don't worry, kitty. It's not like we're on a timer or anything. 
All right, got the kitty some catnips, so let's hope we can play now. Back into the cave and onto the new area. This place is pretty big and I can get lost easily. The next area is across a broken off bridge and my journey takes me deeper into this weird landscape. Across the water and around the back, another rock gordo. He opens a portal to a new location, but I decide to hold off on this one for now. We'll explore it later. The next slime is across some bridges with Feral. I get to the next guy and stand in his radiation while I feed him. He drops yet another key for me. I gather up his friends and I go to the purple hexa slime. Typically, this guy isn't here without the mod, but I realize I can jump over him and get to the next area regardless. Opening this door is one of the biggest steps in completing the game. This door has several entrances, but this entrance is one of the best to open. On day seven, I gather the rock plorts and go in to gather the rad plort and the phosphor plorts, then fill the statues before heading home. I unload my rad slimes into the veggie corral, clear the crops, and put the heartbeat in instead. I feed my new slimes, then gather more plorts. Once my slimes are happy, I go out to explore, this time into the moss blanket. I need tabby plorts. It doesn't take long to find a tabby, so I feed it and get a plort. I also get attacked by a honey slime, so I grab him too, and right next to him I pick up a boom plort. I take the honey slime to a cliff and feed him a fruit to get a plort from him as well. This gives me all of the rest of the plorts I need to unlock the big door. I grab the map and then head home again. On day 8, I prepare for the new location by setting up some chicken coops because several of the slimes coming up need meat to be fed. I spend the entire day farming. With the money that I've been gathering, I pick up all of the upgrades available. I head off to sleep early to get ready for the big day tomorrow. <sighs> On day 9, I gather up a ton of fruit and went to pop the first modded Gordo. I, however, was sorely disappointed that he didn't drop much. Just a cookie for my heart slimes. Pretty useless for me at this stage. Remember how we had the ADHD goose controlling the playthrough? Well, I watched the sky for a good hour in real life time, so the rest of day nine was pissed away. I finally return to the game and just go to sleep. On day 10, I am determined to do something productive today. I head back to our purple guy and into the statue area. I use the rest of the plorts in the statues to open up the big door. This opens up the ancient ruins. The ruins are kind of like a labyrinth that are locked by pressing switches. Super easy though, all you do is switch each one you come up to while heading north. I pick up the quantum slime, find the map, and then I made it to the next door. And I realized I didn't have a key. Back home I go. On day 11, I add the quantum slime to my fruit pen, and something goes terribly, terribly wrong. Just watch. Ooh, wait, wh what's happening? Hold on. Why are you guys? No, what? Why? How? how what? What? Tar? Ow! What? Hello? Ooh, ooh, another one? What? I did, I did, oh, what? What? Why? You what? What? Another? Guys, what is happening? Ow! What is happening? Look at my health. Why are they all turning into tar? Why are they all angry? What? Ow! 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 Holy crap, dude! What is? What the fuck? I, did I did I put a slime in here that's not supposed to be in here? Is there a is there what is happening? Why are they attacking? What the hell did you just eat? Why? What are you doing? My dudes, I just put in here. They're just gone. I I what? My quantums. The, the, the bro. I don't understand. What happened? Did he eat something that he shouldn't have? This guy seems okay. Are there any more plorts in there that, like, shouldn't be in there? What in the... There was no plorts in there. There's just the quantum plort and the, the phosphor plort. What in the... What? Why? What? Yeah, so that happened. Yeah, um, remember the plort protector? That would have been a great time to use it. I tried to ignore what just happened and gather tons of plorts. Because what fixes disappointment better than money? Money does buy happiness, right? Well, if money can't buy happiness, how does standing on my favorite slime's head sound? That will work, right? Isn't he cute? I jump off his head and pick up an origin orb. Just like the other orb, I've got no idea what this does. Shortly after this, my second favorite slime, the hunter, attacked me. He's mine now. I take him home and put him in with the jack of slimes. Now I really need chickens. So, new chicken coops are the next part of my plan. Lots and lots of them. I build chicken coops early into the morning, so after working 24 hours, I decide to sleep away the next full day. 
I slept all through day 12 and woke up on day 13. On day 13, I removed the crops and replaced it with the mint mango that I picked up when I got the hunter slime. I fed my hunter slime, and like all cats, once you feed them, you go back to being prey, and he bites me. Rude. Isn't he cute, though? I feed him again to calm him down and put him to sleep for a bit, then head back to the moss blanket once more. My first stop, the honey gordo. He pops and drops me a key, and I use this to unlock the next door. Mistakenly. I just remembered I needed another key. I already had this area unlocked, so now I just wasted that key. I find a royal slime, but it's useless for me to pop him, so I go on to find the others. I spot the boom slime gordo and fly down to him. Thankfully, I've gathered a lot of chickens knowing he was our next target. I take the key and unlock the next door. I gather up quantums because I need their plorts. Their plorts open up the five statues to the next area. The portal opens and I step through. This brings us into day 14 and into the glass desert. This place is one of the very first places that you enter that is extremely dangerous. And you're about to see why. Not only is it beautiful, it wants to kill me. Kind of like my ex-girlfriend. Yeah, we won't get into that. This is the last area of the game except for DLC and this place, well, you'll see. Before chaos hits, I gather up dervish slime and painted hens. I feed the tangle slime a little bit, grab the map, and then as I'm exploring, it happens. The sky starts to turn red, and suddenly, I'm in trouble. I back into a corner and watch as the sky opens up and starts raining fire. This is called a firestorm. It creates fire tornadoes out of nowhere, and also attacks you with flying meteors falling from the sky, spawning fire slimes that burn you out of nowhere. I go out to look around and get scared and go hide in the corner like a coward as a fire nato spawns on my head and attacks the bunker I'm hiding in. I decide to sit out the storm and shake in the corner, thankful that I didn't get hit. These storms will kill you in one hit. I finally leave the comfort of my hovel when the storm stops. Then I return to the tangle slime and feed him the rest of the chickens I gathered. I go off to get more and stumble across some type of a shrine? It looks like a chalice, so I splashed it with water and it didn't do anything. I come across a tangle statue and make a mental note of this. I'll have to come back later. I return home with the dervish slimes I collected and put them into the corral. My hunter slime is eaten. Learning from the last catastrophe, I purchase the plort protector. Turns out this makes it so slimes inside the corral cannot eat plorts. And I realize it also takes fuel, water. And I have to refill the plort protector in order to keep them safe. With this in mind, I go build a pond so that I have a renewable source of water on the farm. On day 15 and 16, I'm feeding all of my slimes, gathering plorts, and I notice something white and glowing in my pen. I pick it up and I'm pretty dumbfounded to discover something called a diamond beet just chilling with my slimes. I didn't plant this. I pocket it and decide to grow it. And I also get the idea that maybe this weird blob guy wants it. Nope. Time to head back into the glass desert. I finish off feeding the tangle slime and unlock the teleporter out. The slimes eat chickens, so I add them in with my hunters and I feed them. I gather chickens and feed the tabby gordo, opening a teleporter that is close to the moss blanket. All of the tabbies that pop out come with me back to the farm, and when I get back, I unlock the docks. The last available upgrade to the farm. I put the tabby into a pen and gather tons of floors from them. This brings us into day 17, a day spent gathering tons and tons of plorts for the lab. I go back into the blanket and pop my favorite Gordo after failing to find his mouth. I pick up everything he drops and head home. These get added to the corral and I finish off day 17 farming and gathering more plorts than going to bed. On day 18, I head over to pop the other tabby, then jump through the portal on accident. So I jump back through and I almost fall right into the water. That was almost death. I get back up top and go back to the portal again. I notice a donut Gordo in here, but I can't pop him. So I climb the mountain and pop the pink Gordo instead. Out of a box pops a golden slime, which then drops me a golden plort. If that's not planned, that's lucky as hell. I leave the portal again and again, almost fall right into the water. I go into another area where a test slime is, and after gathering several veggies, I feed and pop him while being attacked a few times randomly. A 
Again, like the other mod Gordos, he doesn't drop much. I unlock a skin for the tar called Jackatar, and now I actually like the tar. I might need to get a couple. Now, if you're nervous, close your eyes, because what I do here is stupid. Plain stupid. Somehow, I still make it out alive. Barely. Time to go home and stop doing stupid shit. I go to sleep and in the morning on day 19, I return to the ancient temple to pop the Quantum Gordo. I pick up a Phase Lemon, another key, and then do a lot of farming for the rest of the day. Well, actually into the next few days. Day 20 and 21 are spent farming non-stop, so I'll save you the trouble of watching it. Towards the end of day 21, though, I found the Hunter Gordo and nabbed myself tons more hunters from him. And a key. I found the Mouse Gordo. I forgot those even existed in this game. And I headed home to put my hunters in the pen. Day 22, I head back to the Glass Desert. And pick up a pair. Also... I am quite a bit lost. So I head home and do a ton more farming. I need to farm for the machines. So I make a plan. I need to get all of the slimes so I can farm them easily. Pink slimes first. Ow. Rude, I'm trying to get pink slimes. After being attacked multiple times, I gather several pink slimes. And phosphorus too. And take them home. I start feeding them, then decide to put them into a pen. Only, I upgrade it with the plort protector, so my idea to turn the phosphors into pinks, and the pinks into phosphors, is slightly pushed off track. So, I did it by hand. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is actually pretty funny to watch. Oh, I just threw it in your face and you just ignored me. Come on, there's food right next to you. You're a jerk. Bro, I'm trying to feed you. You guys are jerks. Come here. Come on, dude. Get your damn food. Thank you. Okay, 12 of you. Ooh, y'all scary. This is chaotic. Ow! He's a little on the insane side. But, when you need it, you need it! Please stop blowing up on me. I would appreciate it. I'm trying to feed you guys. I really am. Alright, we got 50 of them. We've got rock plorts. Pink plorts and rad plorts. And some phosphorus as well, if we need them. Should have enough for an advanced drill. I do. I have enough for a couple of them. I need boom plorts and honey plorts. At the end of day 23, I go out to gather boom plorts and honey plorts, unaware of the chaos I'm going to come home to. Oh. You guys having fun there? Like, throwing my dudes everywhere. I need these, please. No, my dervishes are being banned, yes. Well, I came back home only to find that my dervish have been throwing my slimes all over the place. Needless to say, not very happy about that. Because they're jerks. And I do not understand why they had to do that. And there's one over here. You're making a mess of everything. I cleaned that up, then put my boom slimes just outside the lab and transformed them with honey plorts this time. Remembering not to get the plort protector for now. I put the dervish in by themselves, so if they throw another tantrum, they aren't throwing my slimes everywhere. I finish off day 24 gathering plorts. Notice an endless pattern? 
well, it repeats. I put out a ton of machines over the next two days to farm things for me. And we finally have a lot of plorts of all kinds. After two days of farming, we have five advanced drills, five advanced pumps, and five advanced apiaries. I go out and check our machines, gathering everything they have farmed. Then I continue to farm endless plorts. Cue plort donation montage. I decide to go back to the ancient ruins, and this happens. Did I get you? <laughs> Imagine if we lost this far in the series. Thankfully, I'm just messing with you, and I only fell to the bottom of the labyrinth, not to the water. Built up a teleporter to make the end of the game easier to achieve. And I did a lot of moving around of my slimes and recombining them off screen. I combined these guys with Tangle in the last few days. I put these guys over here. They were back there. And I put a tree here. So that is what I've done in the last couple of days. And just to break the third rule here, or third law, or third, third, whatever. What is it called? I don't even know. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. I am currently in the middle of recording this. Uh, the video is almost done. This is the first time I've ever actually done something long term like this. So I am super proud of myself. Super stoked to finally get it out to everybody. Hi, my little Cheshires. You're so cute. And uh, there's only one dervish left in here. And I just noticed um, apparently my mods didn't load. As you saw, it seems unfortunately that our mod was taken off the workshop several weeks ago and has finally stopped working with the game. Sadly, I thought we could keep them as long as we had the file, but that doesn't seem to be the case as the game auto-updated as soon as I launched. It's loaded into my game, but it won't load anymore. That's all right. We, uh, we'll just have to do without it, unfortunately. I wasn't really using it all that much anyways. And go back into the glass desert. Oh my goodness, that scared me. I didn't know what to expect from that. I'm going to be doing a lot more live talk instead of all the script that you've been hearing. I'm not sick anymore. Fun fact, while I was recording all of this, the script and everything, I was sick with COVID. So every five seconds I would cough or, or literally like fall over dying or something. Like there was something going wrong with me. So yeah. Okay, here's one of the tangle slimes that I needed. There's one, got one right here. The tornado kind of showed me where that was. That was kind of neat. It is nighttime, so we don't have to worry too badly about all of the weather that can take place. Oh, how wrong I was. We definitely have to worry about it. Oh, crud. Okay. Um, can I find myself a hole to hide in, please? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. It's like following me. It's like trying to follow me right now. Look at that. Ah! Ah, Shiza. Okay, we're hiding again. Look at that, guys. Oh, boy. Ow! Oh, okay. Those don't hurt as much as I thought, but the, the fire tornadoes do. Perhaps we should come back later. We will go and put this away where it goes, and we shall come back later. 100%. If you guys are still here and you're still watching, I seriously appreciate you. You guys are the freaking, like, goat. Legit. I did not expect anybody to last this long, and I'm so happy that you did. This project has taken me months to complete, and I wanted to be... I wanted to kind of kick my channel off with a bang and be like, okay, here we go. We're finally doing something that actually has some merit to it rather than just play a game upload it and there you go i wanted to do something a little bit more special oh my poor little guys are so hungry i'm sorry little guys okay let's try and pass the storm so we're gonna go into day 29. let's back into this oh it's still still firestorm time look how pretty that is man that's gorgeous can we screenshot this heck yeah that's so pretty looking all right, I guess we'll just wait right here and wait for the storm to end. Well, that was fast. I paused the recording and was about to go get a drink of water 
and it's just like, okay, we're done now. Gracious. Um, okay. So we've got two Tangle Slimes in this location. There's got to be a couple more for sure. I don't know where they would be, but let's find them. Okay, there's the one. We've already been down that way. So let's go this way then. Ooh, I'm glad I wasn't jumping over a cliff. That would have been terrible. From this point forward, there's going to be a little bit less scripting and more gameplay until at least when it comes to like long grindy stuff. It would be kind of like a, a mix between the two. I know that there's an area close by. Ooh, is that a fire slime? It is a fire slime. That's what comes out of the firestorms. Normally, you'll see a lot more of them. I'm not sure why I haven't been seeing them. Ooh, green stripey ornament. Let's put you out, sir. Rude. Let's put you up here. Look at you, you're so cute. I have a fire slime. What I don't have, though, what I don't have, is a place to put said fire slime. Now, where is this? Is it over here somewhere? There's like a little basement kind of area in this place somewhere. Oh, is it over here? There we go. Okay. I think this takes rock plorts or crystal. No, I think it's rock. Yeah, it's rock plorts. So we're going to have to come back with rock plorts. Nice that we have a teleporter literally right there. Get myself some rock plorts. Oh, I should have left my fire slime at home. I don't have anything to do with you, though. I'm sorry, buddy. Hopefully he'll be okay because he's on sand, but I think they despawn. Without fire, I think they despawn. Might as well do this with these guys. Still got 11 minutes left. See that down there is, is certain death. Okay, the rock plorts go down here. Now, I believe this is an important location. One, two, three. <gasps> Ooh, okay. We did it. That's all we needed. So now it's like a race to one where to put these, I guess. We have to water the plants with ancient water. And then we have to be really careful because it spawns all kinds of creatures everywhere. See? should be this way. Look around, look around. Okay, right here. Um, keep looking. Got a one over here. Not specific. Okay, there's one up here. So I need to grab some more water. I need to come straight up there. Well, this is interesting. Oh, good lord. Okay. We do have another door open. Oh, interesting. What is this? Oh, there's another plant in here. Okay. Let me go back over in here, find where... How do I get up here normally? How do I get up here at all? How did I get up here? I think I have to go that way. Gotcha. Oh, look at that, guys. It's the tar. The tar are giant, giant jack-o'-lanterns. Isn't that neat? Oh, okay. Oh, shiza. This is a bad place to be. To have to deal with this right now. Hide over here in the corner, maybe. No, oh, Dervish is the little fire slimes. Oh, apparently it can actually come under here. That's not good. Look how many fire slimes there are everywhere. Are you hungry? No, it's apparently scared. All right, we did that. Ow. See if I walk over the fire slimes, they actually hurt. Will you please? Gilded. Ginger? Guys, what's a gilded ginger? Very few ranchers will ever read this. Oh, we got whatever a gilded ginger was. And there's a tornado right here. Being lost is like my middle name. When I'm lost, I just start climbing things. Oh, good thing I did too. Ah, no! Gosh darn it, I forgot about energy. Guys! I have one left. Oh, I think I see a slime over there. I do. There's the, mo the mosaic slimes over there. Got him. Nope. Oh, nope. Oh, that's not where I want to go. He's like basically chasing me. I'll wait. Oh, I almost I almost forgot all 
about that gap. Oh my gosh, my heart. Oh, I'm gonna just stand in the corner for a second. Let's look if we can. Let's try to get a little higher. Oh, there's another one over here that I need to get. Okay, so that being said, how do I get up there? Because I don't think... Yeah, no, I can't make it to the top of that. Uh, I can make it over there, though. Oh, I don't think so. That's all right. Let's go this way. All right. I need to go this direction, right? No. I need to go that direction. Okay. Now where? Down this way? Has to be down this way, right? I'm not quite sure, actually. I do know I need to go back up there, though. I'm gonna go get some more water. I'm gonna try again. Okay, I got that one. Not quite sure where there's more. You guys are all chasing me now. I'm looking for more of them, but I don't see any. I don't see any more flowers. There's one in here. That's the... That's where the, uh, the original flower's at, is right in here. And then if we go out of here, we've got an area up here. This goes over to there. This comes this way. I don't think there's anything down there. And that was that one down there. I am surrounded by fire. I'm waiting for the one in front of me to move so I can fly across. I just barely got nicked by that one. It's hard to see when it's like this. Of everything, I think that that's the most difficult part, is that it's hard to see. Oh, hi, Draco Lantern. Hey guys, look, it's Jackotar. Hi. Mm, mosaics? What does mosaics eat? I think it's fruit, isn't it? No, mosaics is, um, carrots. Guys, how many more do I have to do? How do I get up there to the mosaic? I think I need to get on top of that. I think in order to do that, I have to get on top of the big one and fly over. I don't think there's another way of getting up there. Ah. Okay. Looking down, I'm not seeing any, any other ones that I need. Like, I don't see any more... I don't see any more plants. There might be one back there, but I don't think so. Hi, buddy. What are you blocking? Because of the mod, all of my Jacko Slimes are gone. My favorite mod is gone. Oh well. The mod developer took it off of the their website thing, so... Yeah. Let's see, can we plant this? Oh my gosh, I can. Mm, there's a- yeah, there's a floor protector in here. Dang it. How do I take it out? Oh, there's a gilded already. What is the gilded for? Hm. I'll just wait for it to run out of water, I guess. Have mosaic hunters. Okay, I'll let that do its thing. And let's go back in. And I forgot all about this little area up here. I saw it just as I was coming out. There's an area up here, and I don't know what's up here, but I'm very curious to find out. Wait, is that all I need for something? No, oh, come on, my stupid frickin... I hate the energy in this game. It doesn't regen fast enough. Oh, there's a dervish right there. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, I can feed the dervish. Hi, dervish. Don't you eat fruit? You do. You do eat fruit. I have plenty of it. Oh, we're gonna have to feed you some of these. Boom. Please don't. You're gonna make a mess of everything. Put you over there. Okay. These are... Oh, I got another key. Didn't even need a... think I need any more keys. But apparently I do. I need to find the other Tangle Slime, guys. I've got all three, don't I? I thought there was three Tangle Slimes I needed. There's one there. There's one on top. And there's one... This area over here. Isn't that all I need for that unlock up there? If I remember correctly. Okay, I do have two more of those left. Let's go back. Nice. All right, back into the glass desert once more. There's the tangle slime. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. I thought that was going to open up. Derp. After becoming lost in the glass desert, I go home and collect a lot of hunter plorts. And then, 
for the next few days, I'm just doing nothing but collecting and farming and more collecting and more farming. And we finally unlock the bees, the drones. We finally have one automated farm. That was one of the goals in this series. Look at him go! You go, buddy! Oh, that feels so good. That took so much farming. Guys, this is it. This this is the end of the game right here. We're done. I did it. I actually beat the game within 100 days, and I did all of our goals. Once I talk to this, it's done. Doors like these. Cool. That's it. Now we just go home and go to sleep. All we got to do is get to the, get back to the house. It shouldn't be too hard, right? Unless we jump off the edge somewhere on accident, which I'm very good at. Thirty-seven days. All right. It looks like, from what I need to do, is open up all of these and then just keep going to bed until I get all of the mail from Casey. So we will fast forward and we will get all the mail from Casey. There we go. Oh, please don't say. And there's the game, guys. Thank you for joining me for this. This has been a wild adventure. I've never completed anything this big before. It took me three months to do this video. So hit the like button down below. Subscribe for more. I will be doing a lot more games like this. Let me know if you like this style. I look forward to seeing all of your comments. And thank you so much for joining me and being on this adventure with me. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.